Hey guys, Seth here, and today I'm bringing you the most fun deck in Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment, the absolute best deck to have fun with. And I get the feeling that this will reach tier 1 with a little bit of adjustments and things, but for now, this is a really solid deck, and I love this deck. I've been winning with it all fucking day since I built the thing. So if you guys really want a deck that you're going to enjoy, you're going to be able to Pendulum Summon, Synchro Summon, Fusion Summon, and a little bit of XYZ Summoning, then you're going to love this deck. So just jump right into it, guys. Remember, please leave comments and your suggestions and things. Share this video because it really does help out and, you know, uh, raise awareness of the deck, how good it is. So here we go. We have two Frontline Observers, we have two Ritual Beast Tamer Wens, we have two Shadal Beasts, we have two Shadal Dragons, two Shadal Falcons, two Shadal Hedgehogs, uh, two Spiritual Beast Canahawks, we have uh, two of the, uh, the uh, Aether Satellanite uh, Zephra Thubans, we've got the two uh, Beal Zephras, we've got two of the Zephra Cores, this is the MVP of the deck, the Palika. Uh, she'll get you back all of the cards that you might use or put to the grave for your fusions or discards or whatever. Um, Zephyr X and Necros of the Flame Beasts. Um, we have one, uh, I don't know how to say this, is it Fuxi or Fusi? Treasure of the Yang Zhang. We have one of him just for the, 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 the ability to Synchro Summon. And we have three Zephyr Quenu or Quenu or however you say her, uh, Secret of the Yang Zhang. We run two Demise of the Lands, we run three Oracle of Zephyrs, we run two Shadow Fusions, we run one Bottomless Trap Hole, one Compulse, one Solemn Warning, two Final Zephyr Assaults, one Zephyr Alliance, and one Torrential Tribute. For the extra deck, we have El Shadol and uh, a non Anomalilith, bleh, El Shadol Construct, El Shadol Grista, uh, El Shadol Windigo, El Shadol Wind. Wait, did I say Window or Construct? Wait a minute. Yeah, when to go, when the, uh, oh, whatever. Ritual Beast Ulti uh, Apelio. We've got a Ritual Beast Ulti Gaia Apelio. We have a Ritual Beast Ulti Ptolfin. Uh, I'd rather call her Ptolfin. Uh, we have one Ancient Pixie Dragon, one Castle, one Exciting Knight, one uh, Levier the Sea Dragon, one Silent Honor Arc, and one Ragna Zero, and for the rank 6 we have Utopia Beyond. Now I'm going to explain all the choices boys, and also for the rank 6s you can change it up so that you can run M7 and Gauntlet Launcher instead. I'll explain the choices and why I picked what I picked, okay? Frontline Observer gets you this card so much faster and you want this card immediately so that you can either Pendulum Summon it so you can add one of these cards one of the Zephyr Assaults or one of the Zephyr Alliances. I doubt you'd want to add this card until the late game. Or the Oracle of Zephyr, right? So he's key to the deck. He's very good in the deck just for getting this card alone. But if you want to be able to Synchro Summon, then you can grab him as well. So it's it's solid enough that you should run it. Ritual Beast Tamer when is for when you're going to be banishing with Carnahawk or you've already, you know, uh, rich, you've already contact fused, so you need when to bring them back. You can also banish, uh, you know, Zephyr and Palika from your extra deck with the uh, Zephyr Assault and use when to special summon her back. Th that's just an option that you have, so that's why we run when. When is pretty damn good. We the Shadal Beasts are explanatory, you know, you run in Shadal Fusion, you need a tribute as well, you need to be able to tribute summon and things like that or tribute set, um, in this format anyway, you need the ability to do so, and that's how it is. Shadow Dragon, of course, um, you know, of course. The Falcons, the Hedgehogs, they all explain themselves. Kana Hawk is your spiritual beast uh, card. This will help you get your Zephra. Like, this is this is basically to get one of these to your hand. Because getting this to your hand pretty early is just good. Just so you can special summon. If you want to normal summon this and special summon one of these back, that will let you ritual summon. But you can also put it into your pendulum zone and then be able to pendulum summon. So it's all good there. Uh, Zephra Exa, I'm disputing on this card because it's good, but it's also it's not really very useful. Um, you know, if you get him with Falcon, you can then, you know, get one of the Pixie Dragons pretty damn early. You can also be special summon from the Grave of the Hand, so if you do use Fusion, you can use Grista or something, if you want to. And, you know, that's that's how he would work. So, 
he's good enough to be run, but I don't know how much I would run him at, and I don't know if he's consistent enough to be run at the moment. You notice that I don't run any rank 5, so he's not being used for XYZ summoning, he's just being used as a particular beat stick as well as a scale 7. You know, he's, he's good enough to be run, but I don't know if he's that good to keep. Um, Fusi is, is explanatory, you only run one because he's really not got a good effect, he's only available for the Ancient Pixie Dragon play. So if you do Pendulum Summon with him, if you Pendulum Summon him and one of the level 4s, let's say uh, Beals, then you can make Beals a tuner and then Synchro Summon with Beals and that to make Pixie Dragon. Then Pixie Dragon, um, you know, when Pixie, this is the beautiful thing about Oracle Zephyr is it's a mandatory effect, so both of these are mandatory effects, so after resolving a fuel spell card that was activated during your turn, draw one card. Both of these activate at the same time, so you can resolve them whenever you like. So, let's say you Synchro Summon, and then you can use this effect right here, choose one monster from your deck, and place it on top of your deck. If you do that with P Pixie Dragon, then um, already on the field, then you activate another Zephyr. So you can only activate one Zephyr per turn, so this is going to need to be on the field for an entire turn. Then what's going to happen is you'll probably Pendulum Summon. you Pendulum Summon Fusi and Beal Zephyr with one of these. Quinn will add one of the Oracle f uh, the Zephyrs to the hand. Then you're going to Synchro Summon the, uh, the, the Beal Zephyr and the Fusi. Fusi will go back to the bottom of the deck. That's part of his effect is he'll go back to the bottom of the deck. This one will go to the extra deck face up. Then you've got Pixie Dragon. Pixie Dragon, uh, after Pixie Dragon's on the field, he'll put one of these. Oracle of Zephyr will put one monster, any one monster that you want, from your deck to the top of the deck. Then you activate the Zephyr that you added because of Quinn. And then you get to draw one, and then at the same time, if you want to, you can add a Zephyr monster from your deck to your hand. So you can draw the one that you placed on top of your deck, and then you can add a Zephyr monster from the deck to your hand. That's, a, that's so much plus in there. There's so much pluses in this deck. Now the reason that we run Demise of the Land, okay? I'm trying to make this as quick as possible, but Demise of the Land is uh, you select, when your opponent special summons a monster, you select one field spell from your deck and activate it. Now because this card has a mandatory effect that when it's activated, you add one Zephyr monster from your deck to your hand, it won't miss timing. So it doesn't miss timing if you activate one of these Demise of the Lands, because it activates Oracle of Zephyr to add a Zephyr card from your deck to your hand. So you're fine in that sense. And it doesn't activate it from the deck, so you don't actually activate the field spell. You don't take the field spell from your deck and put it onto the field spell zone, into the slot. You don't do that. You just activate it from your deck and it stays in your deck. So that's the good side of Demise of the Land. It just gives you the it gives you five chances to use uh, Oracle of the Zephyr instead of just the three. Especially if you'd want to run Terraforming. Terraforming is a good card, but not in this deck. Because you're still only giving yourself three opportunities to activate Oracle of the Zephyr, whereas this gives you five. It gives you five chances to use it. So it's a good card, run Demise of the Land instead. Everybody special summons this format, so the only deck that's not doing it is Volcanics, and I don't see that much in the OCG. So that's why we run that. Um, Oracle of Zephyr is the key to the deck, it's so much key. Um, you're not really going to use this effect, Ritual Monsters, because we don't run any of the Ritual Monsters in this particular uh, build. The Fusion Summoning, I doubt you would want to special summon a monster, one monster from your hand, but if you do, it would be for a one turn kill opportunity. Synchro Summons, we've explained that, and XYZ Summons allow you to use these effects much easier. So if you do XYZ Summon with these two, or these two, to make a 4 or a 6, then you can, you know, draw one, discard a beast, draw a card, or discard a dragon, pop a card on the field, or falcon, special summon back, or hedgehog, add one to your hand. It's all good effects. They're all good effects. Um, the reason that we run Zephyr Alliance is I just like the card. I like the, the idea of the card. Now, you can run three of the Zephyr Assaults, but I feel that that would be janky as all hell. You know, it's not often that you keep that many Zephyr cards and your face up extra deck, so it's adding inconsistency. You know, it's like Inf uh, Infernity Barrier. When Infernity Barrier was at three, Inf Infernity still only ran two. They still only ran two Infernity Barriers. So, like, this is the same deal as 
you may have three final for Zephyr Assault, but you should still only run two. You should still only run two. It's not good to run more than two. So, anyways, guys, that is the deck profile. If you do, if you did enjoy it, or you you, you know want to try out the deck, I'd suggest starting with this build. It's really solid, and it doesn't use any ritual monsters. But ritual monsters don't allow you to use the full range of what Zephyrs have to offer. So. Um, if you did like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, punch it out.